This is a lesson from my free method book. Um, you can download the method book um, from thisisclassicalguitar.com and it's an 80 page PDF. There's no sign up or payment required. You can just download it and it has fingerings and, and tips and whatnot. So um, the previous couple of videos I just made were the swan, which was like an introduction to two voice playing. Um, but the two voices never um, play at the same time. And then the second video we went over is the Easy Leander version, which is the melody in the bass voice. And now the Siciliano is the next one, and this one is melody in the top voice again, except on this one you actually have to play bass notes and a melody at the same time. But again, this is for beginners, so all the bass notes are actually just open strings, so it won't be that difficult to accomplish. But you'll have to get used to it, of course. A um, couple basic principles. Whenever you learn a piece um, with more than one voice, I'd highly recommend that you play the voices separately to understand them on an individual level. So in this piece, I would play the melody by itself a few times. Without any of the thumb notes or the bass voice. Um, in order, you do that in order to just understand how the melody sounds and that it should be legato, not, you know, not choppy in any way. It should be a nice singable legato the same way you would sing it with your voice. When you add in the, the bass voice, just don't let it interfere with that nice melody that you created. So however you played the melody on its own, um, you throw that bass line in there, it shouldn't change it too much. focus on you know just making it sound smooth um, in terms of the right hand um, like I'm not that picky with my students about right hand fingering as long as they're generally alternating fingers so like for example in this piece you might do um, M I So, I mean, just in general, just alternating those fingers. Probably a more ideal fingering would might throw in the A finger on occasion, like for example, at the end of the second bar, playing the high F with the A finger if you wanted. But at the same time, for beginners, I often just, I want them to just have clear concepts. So if they just use two fingers, but alternate them, then I'll be really happy. And as long as they're holding their hand position in a good arched kind of wrist and a nice hand position, then it doesn't matter for me. Like we can work on tons of right hand fingering later on, but basic concept is to hold your hand properly because you can't do anything unless you have a good hand position. And then um, alternating fingers is the concept. So we just use that concept and then later on as we get more into fingering we can talk more about like specific combinations that will allow for the optimal right hand fingering. Um, so that's a Siciliano by Carcassi on page 47 and a nice legato melody on the top voice that you just want to develop as much as possible. Then when you throw those open bass strings in there you don't have to think about it too much. Um, if you have any other questions about it, um, you can comment in the YouTube section, but I think that's pretty straightforward. And then there's a few other pieces in the book that I'll be making videos for as well. Thanks.